Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shruti. In this video, I will show you how to create and execute a test using Playwright. So before we start, I hope you have watched my previous video where I explained how to install Node.js, VS Code and Playwright. If you have not watched it yet, I recommend you to check it out. And also, please don't just watch the video. Make sure you practice along with me. Because as you know, once you started practicing, you will run into errors and make mistakes. And that is how you learn. Okay, let's get started. There are two ways to create a test. One is using code generation. That is code gen. Code generation. That is code gen. And another way is manually typing the script so in this video i will show you how to create a test by manually typing the script so in order to do that let's create a test file so as i explained in the previous video we have to create a test file inside this test file so to create that right click and select new file and name it demo just to name it demo dot spec dot ts press enter so here spec is nothing but specifications so it indicates that this is a testing file it means we are using this file for testing purpose ts is for typescript if we are using javascript we can use dot js Okay, this is a naming convention in Playwright. This is what we should follow. Before writing a test, we need to import two functions that is test and expect from Playwright test library and which is located inside this node modules Playwright test. So let us import. To import, we need to type import space within curly braces type test this is a function and another function is expect and we need to mention from where we are importing it from within a single code type at the rate playwright slash test we use test to create and organize the test cases and we can define multiple test blocks in a single file and each test blocks represent a separate test file not a file separate test and expect function we use for assertion to make sure that application is behaving as expected let us create a test block now to create a test block we need to start with the word test open a bracket and inside a single quote mention the test case name so here i will say launch the browser comma use async keyword async keyword open the bracket and inside that open curly braces and type page word and user arrow function press enter and curly braces this is how we create a test block in playwright we use async keyword here because it is a asynchronous function it allows the code to pass and wait for certain tasks to finish before continuing with the help of await keyword so async internally uses await keyword now this page word this page is a parameter this refers to the browser page or tab that is being used in the test in playwright this page object represent individual browser or tab using this page we can interact with the web page such as navigating to url clicking on element filling out forms and more now let us write a line of code to launch the browser we need to type await space page dot go to go to and type the web page you want to launch i am saying google.com 
so here as i said this await keyword comes with async for every line we need to use or write await keyword and this page indicates the page it is being tested we are saying go to this google page so go to is a playwright method to navigate to the browser to navigate to the web page not the browser okay so now let us add some assertion so the assertion is let us validate the page title so how to do that as i said we have to write await keyword then page dot we need to use title method this is from playwright so we have to use await space page dot title in order to get the page so we got this we need to save this page title in some variable so that we can compare it later so let us create a variable in javascript or typescript we use const space variable name let us say title name is equal to so this title name contains the title of the web page now if you want to um, print it and check let us use console dot lock and let us print it title name let's execute later and check now let us add the assertion so how to add the assertion as i said we use expect function to add the assertion or to validate it so how to use expect we have to use expect what we are expecting we are expecting title name this title name sorry title name to be to be is a method in playwright to compare two values to be what i'm saying suppose uh, google.com google i'm saying google let me explain this line so here we should use whenever we use any assertion whenever we need to do any validation we have to use expect keyword expect what we, what we are expecting we are expecting this title name to be to be is a method in playwright to compare two values that is actual and expected we are expecting this title name should be google so here what is actual value actual value is title name it is the value retrieved from the web page using page dot title and what we are expecting expected value to be google let me explain once again in playwright in order to write a test we need to import two functions they are test and expect so here test indicates test or test case or test block inside a single quote we have to mention the name of the test case and a sync keyword allows the code to pass and wait for the certain lines to complete execution before continuing here in our example it waits for the browser to launch successfully then it goes to the next line page this page refers to the browser page or tab we open for testing this line await page dot go to google.com we have to use await keyword whenever we interact with the web page and this go to is a method in playwright in order to launch the browser and here page dot title this method we use to get or retrieve the page page title and <coughs> sorry we are saving the title inside this title name variable and we are printing the title and we are using this expect to do the validation that is assertions and we are comparing actual and expected and one more thing is here we cannot just use google.com it has to be the complete url like this i am saving control s now let us run in order to run we need to go to terminal and select new terminal 
how to execute the test we need to use a command that is npx space playwright test this command executes all the tests under this example folder and test folder but i don't want to execute all the files i want to execute only the demo file so how to do that after test give a space and enter the file name that is demo.spec.ts and press enter and notice the screen so three tests firefox it executed chrome the first one is chrome second one is firefox and here we can see the uh, title name we use this console.log to print so it is printing the google google is the title name let me let me explain so it executes in three browser that is how it is saying three test we have only one test but it is by default it is executing in three browsers google sorry chrome uh, firefox and safari and i'll explain in the next video i'll explain what is worker so we can change suppose if you want to um, execute the test in particular browser like only in firefox or only in safari or only in chrome we can do that Finally, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any doubts or get stuck at any step while executing or while practicing, please do comment and I will try to address it. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you feel you have learned something from this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. We'll meet you in the next video.